I wanted to ask you guys a question. Who would like this $100 bill? I do. $100 bill. Who would like this $100 bill? Who really wants to have this $100 bill? Who wants to have the 100 Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Oh. He got it. All right. Good man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made you jump for it. I like that. So, let me, let me ask you something. Now, I saw some of you guys moving, and some of you going, and, and a lot of you raised your hand. You put your hands up in the air and said, hey, you know, I'm in. I'm in. How about the 100 for me? Pablo, after I asked about the, by the fourth time, came over here, walked around, and took it. Let me ask you guys a question. Why didn't all of you get up and do it? Why didn't all of you, why didn't you guys in the back get up, race up here, and grab that $100 out of my hand? Because you certainly had plenty of time to do it. And Pablo's here in the front row, but there's three other people. Why didn't you do it? Anybody want to share? So, let me give you a couple thoughts. One of the reasons you didn't want to do it is because, first of all, you didn't know if I was serious. Am I going to really give you the hundred bucks? Are you going to be able to keep the hundred dollars? Or are you going to make yourself look foolish and run up here and try to take the money and I'm going to, no, you can't have it and put it back in my pocket. Okay? Write this down. The very first thing you have to do, starting now, to ensure a great fourth quarter and a fabulous first quarter is number one, take action. Write that down. Take action. Raising your hand isn't enough. Saying I want the business isn't enough. You've got to go out and you've got to take action to get it. You, okay, I agree. You have to have a plan along the way. And hopefully when we're done in our time together this morning, we'll have some kind of a plan. But you've got to take action. The difference I wrote down here, the difference between great real estate agents and good real estate agents. Great real estate agents and good real estate agents are the great ones take action. And they take, write this down, massive action. That's the difference between great agents and good real estate agents. I wrote down here, nothing happens in this world without someone taking action. Okay, you say to me, well, I raised my hand. Wasn't that good enough? You tell me. No. Wasn't, was it? No. Okay. Well, I raised my hand and I started to move. Was that good enough? No. You have to get up. You have to get out of your seat. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to put yourself in a situation that might be uncomfortable and maybe look foolish, maybe, to get the money. That's what we need to learn here today. I wrote down here, take action or accept the results. Take action or accept the results. You know, one of the things I say to agents that come to me all the time and say, how do I get to the next level? What am I going to do? My bills aren't paid. My car needs a, a battery. Um, Christmas is coming, and I don't have things for my family. I, got, I, can't, I can't even think about the fourth quarter because I've got to worry about what I can't do right now in, uh, in, the, in October and November. I can't even think about January and February. Write this down. You are where you are because it's okay with you. You are where you are right now because it is okay with you. Because believe me, if it wasn't okay with you, you would say, that's it, I'm out of here. 
I need to do this. I need to make it happen. I need to go see the contacts. I need to go see the people. I need to knock on those doors. I need to call back those clients from open house this weekend. You are where you are because it's okay with you. Most people who fail to achieve what they want fail for the lack of action. <clears throat> if you're failing or you're not hitting your goals, it's because you're not taking enough massive action.